welcome to our series of interviews for Open Conference. My name is Martina Tzavli and I am proud to be part of the organizing committee of Open Conference. Today, I have the pleasure to have with me Margarita Fantasy, Azure Cloud and AI consultant from Microsoft, who will be a member of the panel of the upcoming mini conference in December 15, 2021 with topic reverse brain drain. Hi, Margarita and welcome. Hi, Martina. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to see you all. And I'm really happy and excited to be, to be invited here. It's great having you. Our audience would like to know you better. So could you please tell us a few things about yourself? So let me start from academic background. I studied electrical and computer engineering here in Athens, in National Technical University of Athens. Um, when I finished my studies, I started working here in Athens. And the last company I was working for was uh, Cosmote for the DevOps team. Uh, and back in 2017, I decided that I want to, to move abroad. I didn't know how, when, I didn't know for how long, but I, I knew that I wanted to have this experience and this exposure. Not very long after my decision, I landed my, my job in Microsoft in Dublin. So I moved there and I was living there for the last um, four years. Our main focus in the digital sales department in Dublin was to assist customers across EMEA move to the cloud, uh, move securely and with confidence to Microsoft Azure Cloud. So I was part of the team that was uh, making this happen, let's say. Uh, now, moving fast forward to 2021, so this year, I decided to come back to Athens while staying in Microsoft. So joining uh, Microsoft the last for a number of reasons. I think while working very closely with, um, with the Greek cloud ecosystem, I, I know that this is a great momentum right now in Greece. There are a lot of companies that are investing a lot in, uh, in Greece, including uh, Microsoft. Um, so I was seeing firsthand the growth the potential, the untapped potential that is currently currently exists for cloud in Greece. Um, and, you know, I always had in my mind that I will come back. So I thought now it's it's a good time. It's, a, it's the best time. COVID accelerated some, uh, some things and some decisions and, and together with, you know, accelerating digital transformation itself for the country and for, for a lot of companies here. So, yeah, this brings me here now in Athens. I'm very happy for it. And we are very happy that you came back. And uh, actually, I would like to grab the opportunity about the last thing you said and tell you that Open Conference is all about fostering the IT, the Greek IT ecosystem. How do you see that the uh, Greek ecosystem in IT, in cloud and AI stands? How can we foster it? That's, that's a great question, actually. Uh, so I think initiatives like yours, um, bringing people together from different backgrounds, from different, uh, even from different countries, you know, bringing Greeks together, either they are living in Greece or they live abroad. I think it's, it's quite important, especially if you consider that Greece is a relatively small country compared to other countries. And, you know, our network is, is quite big, but, uh, like we have a bigger network, let's say, a lot of people that live abroad. So to being able to connect with all of them and to share knowledge, share experiences, share, share challenges, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's quite important, to, especially for, uh, for Greece. And I think now, with, since, since the pandemic started, the COVID the era started, I think people are quite used to like, connecting with people online. So I think now it's even it's even easier, I would say, like at least I, what I see even within Microsoft, but also connecting with people from other companies and this way create more opportunities for ourselves, but also for the for the country. Yes. And the important thing is that uh, you brought some experience back from abroad and uh, uh, we would like to know if our students here in Greece should stay in Greece and what are the opportunities for them. So imagine that you speak to a young student that is uh, just in the first year of um, the computer engineering degree in university. What advice would you give him? 
I don't know if I'm in a place to give you know advice, but I would say what works for me and what I see works for for a lot of people, uh, especially at these first first years in college, is to try to be exposed to as many things as possible, and expose yourself also to situations and to to things and technology that you you don't feel so comfortable with. That's actually where you grow the most, I would say. So gain as much as international experience as possible, either through maybe projects uh, or uh, exchange programs or internships abroad. Um, and now also, again, you do COVID, there are also a lot of opportunities together with internships uh, that you can work for a company abroad while staying in Athens if you don't have the opportunity to, to move abroad. Um, network a lot. Network is quite important for every stage in your life. Uh, but I think in, since the beginning, you know, you need to uh, connect with the right people and find their career path. If you're doing something that for you is um, is quite exciting. Um, connect and see how they can they can assist you achieve that. And find essentially what you really like. Uh, I think finding that is not easy. I'm not saying it as an advice that is the easiest thing in the world. It's actually quite challenging. Okay, and uh, according to what you said before, uh, you went abroad, you got experience, you came back. So recently we see many people coming back, uh, people that have been working abroad for the last years, not just due to the pandemic, but in general, they wanted to come home. So how did you take that decision to return back? Did opportunities came your way or did you chase the opportunity to return back and why? When I decided to move abroad, I, did, I had in my mind that essentially at some point I will come back. And I, I know that this is the thing for the majority of the Greeks abroad. So everyone, almost everyone has in mind that, okay, at some point, if the circumstances are, are great, um, I will come back. Of course, in order to make that happen, you need also to watch closely what is happening in Athens, what is happening in Greece, how things are evolving in Greece. I was happy and lucky to be able to watch closely what was happening in Greece because I was working with a lot of Greek companies um, while in Microsoft. Microsoft announced last year um, an investment in Greece. Um, and this investment and this announcement together with... Um, COVID accelerating everything, accelerating digital transformation, companies uh, were willing to, to innovate, to take advantage of cloud, uh, cloud services more. I thought it's a good time to be back and contribute to this journey, um, help companies in Greece adopt the cloud technologies. Um, and when the data center will be ready in Athens, um, I think I will be in a good place and you know be able to assist and help companies uh, take take advantage of the capabilities uh, of the cloud. So, of course, there were a number of personal reasons as well. So it's a mix of personal, professional reasons. Uh, it was just for me, um, the chapter of, you know, living in Ireland um, closed. So, yeah. So how do you see, because you mentioned previously about the companies that you would advise and help migrate to cloud. Um, do you see that digital transformation in something that Greek companies start to invest? Yes. I think COVID played an important role here. Um, so at least there is one good thing that uh, came along with the, with the whole pandemic. Uh, because I saw companies that they were more slow and more traditional, being more open and adopt modern workplace solutions, virtual desktop solutions on Azure uh, to let employees work remotely um, and in general uh, move some of their workloads to, to the cloud. Um, I see also a lot of people are um, skilling themselves in order to um, gain the necessary skills for, uh, for Azure. Actually, I think and we, we were noticing also that there is a huge growth in you know, LinkedIn posts and LinkedIn shares about how people are certified in cloud technologies. And during the last years, there is a, there is a huge growth. So yeah, I think um, skilling people, which is first, the first step, like you cannot do everything if you don't have the right uh, workforce, let's say, to work for this project. So skilling um, and then Companies, yes, being a, being more willing to invest in the cloud, 
mm-hmm. um, will create a good uh, environment, let's say, for, for new businesses uh, for cloud. I'm one of them. You should know that. Um, I just started my certificate in Azure Cloud and I... You're contributing to the numbers, uh, the numbers uh, we see. Yes, of course. I would love to to learn more about it. Yeah, I think in the future will be lots of opportunities, lots of projects to to work on. And uh, it's something that is coming anyways. It's something that will happen um, sooner or later. most of the companies in the future will essentially be tech companies so they will need to invest in the technology greece will need to jump on this train at some point so i don't know if it will be in five years in ten years but it will for sure happen um so i want to believe that with these announcements with the data center but also amazon announced also an opening of a new local zone i think these investments if more will come also uh, will help you know, accelerate this journey in Greece. Great. Well, I would like to thank you at this point for this insightful interview and for accepting our invitation for, our, for being a panelist in our next mini conference. Thank so, you for the invitation and for uh, it was really nice to meet you all and be part of this. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for being here with us. And uh, for the rest of you, please stay tuned to our channel because more interviews are coming daily. You can subscribe to our channel to see them all. And if you haven't done so, visit our site to grab your free ticket for the next open conference on December 15, 2021. Thanks for watching and bye.